Hi guys, and we are back for another comprehension assignment. This is comprehension assignment number five, and we're gonna be reading about frog characteristics. So before we start, make sure you write your name on your sheet. And we're gonna get into the text. So a characteristic is just something that describes a person or a thing. For example, if I were to describe the characteristics of a cat, I would say they have long tails, they're furry, they have pointy ears, okay? Um, so we're gonna be reading about frog characteristics. So what makes a frog a frog? What are the characteristics that describe it, okay? It says, frogs are amphibians. Most frogs begin their lives in water as tadpoles and spend the rest of their lives on land. Frogs are cold-blooded. That means their inside temperature is about the same as the outside temperature. Frogs have mucus to keep their skin moist. They have two large eyes on the top of their heads and webbed feet to glide through water. So before we get into the questions, I want you to make sure you're reading the text um, again so you can pause it and reread it to yourself or to someone at your house. And you're gonna be answering four questions once that is done. Let me just fix this. This is for number four. So the first question says, how do most frogs begin their lives? Question number two says, what does it mean to be cold-blooded? Question number three says, how do frogs keep their skin moist? And question number four says, why do frogs have webbed feet? Make sure you are going back to the text to look for your answers. And also, please make sure to restate the question. It is important that you restate the question. And I'll do a quick example. So for number one, how do most frogs begin their lives? I would restate it. Most frogs begin their lives by, okay? So make sure you reread and make sure you restate and make sure you're going back to the text for your answers, okay? Again, if you have any questions, you just give me a text on Dojo or leave a comment on the assignment on Google Classroom. All right, I will let you go and complete your work and I miss you guys. I hope you're doing well. Talk to you soon, bye.